Well, we're back and we're ready to make our chicken apple Waldorf salad. Susanna, what do you have cooking in the pan? Well, I'm cooking our, our fresco sweet apple chicken sausage. And it uh, is made with real Vermont maple syrup and a hint of cinnamon. And as you can see, it browns up really nicely. And there's also some chunks of apples in this as well. Sounds great. It sounds good for breakfast. It is. It's, re it's really versatile um, breakfast, lunch, or dinner in a salad or with risotto or in a wrap. And it's all natural? It's all natural. Uh, no nitrites, no MSG, or no gluten are in the chicken sausages. Well, see, I don't need any of that Oh, stuff. great. Perfect. This is perfect for you. <laughs> okay, so now what are you going to do with it? Right, well, um, I'm going to take it out of the pan. I'm just going to slice them on the diagonal, and we're going to mix them with our arugula to make our Waldorf salad. But this is not just any Waldorf salad. We're starting with some arugula. But to the arugula, I'm going to add in some fresh apples. I've gotten Fuji apples and cube them up. So I'll add that into the arugula. And I'll add in some golden raisins, some chopped up walnuts, and then some balsamic vinaigrette, and I'll toss it. So now Suzanne is just going to add in the sausage into the salad. I can smell the cinnamon oh, in that. Oh, I know. And the, the Vermont maple syrup, too, makes it smell so good. Wonderful. Great. I love this version of Waldorf. You know, I'm used to the traditional version my mom made and with mayonnaise. Right, and right. And, then, and my mom, too. And this version is so great because of the arugula and the balsamic vinaigrette. It's much lighter. Yeah, I like this idea. This could even be put into a wrap or even into pita bread. But we're going to go ahead and serve it up on this plate. And Susanna's going to top it with some dried cranberries. You know you can find all of these meats over in our meat department. Take a look on our website for the recipes, and we'll see you next time.